Have you seen these TV shows with these hoarders, these people that have all this junk in their house that they can't get rid of, and they are paralyzed with life because of all this stuff that is just suffocating them. They have all this junk that they can't get rid of, and that's what we're gonna talk about today, and how you can hack your wealth by removing your junk. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Wealth Hack Wednesday. Today we're talking about decluttering or getting rid of your junk, or better said, getting yourself out of junky situations. Sometimes when you're right in the middle of a pile of junk, it's hard to see how crappy it is. And it's also hard to see the potential that you have or could have if you weren't stuck in that junky situation. Where this all came from, I was talking with a guy in my men's mastermind group and he was telling me the story about his spouse. She had a career in media and news and this was the only thing that she knew. And with this job came so much scrutiny and derogatory comments and remarks and just with social media she was always being judged on her latest outfit and her appearance and her weight and it just got to the point where it was just bringing her down like it was just hard and she didn't want to do it anymore. Now, gratefully, she had a husband that started a side hustle, uh, had a side gig going and grew it to the point where it replaced her salary. And she could leave and she could leave that job but didn't really have any goals or desires to do anything else. So here we are now, I think it's six months removed from this junky situation and now she's become an entrepreneur. Uh, she's been creating some products, she's been doing some coaching, uh, she has uh, another kind of a speaking gig that she gets paid good money to go out and, and do things that she loves and, and encourage others. And these are all opportunities that she didn't even know that existed because of the junky situation that she was in. So when he shared this story with me, I, I just resonated with it on so many levels especially when I started thinking about my financial planning practice. And when I was right in the middle of that, like just doing everything I had to do, like I thought that was the only thing. And I was able to allow myself some margin, some space where I could focus on my online business. But it wasn't until I finally removed myself 100% where I could finally, finally see all this amazing potential that I have right now that I couldn't see because of all the, it, it didn't seem like it was junk, but all the junk that was clouding my visions and my hopes and just the, all the potentials and all the possibilities. It's just a solid reminder that no matter what junky situation that you are in, if you are truly passionate about doing something different, that you know that you have potential, that you know that you were called to do more, to be greater and just kick life's butt, then you've got to remove that junk. So does that mean taking a personal day and just letting your mind be free and just think about all the potential? Does that mean setting up coffees or lunches with mentors? You know, people that have accomplished things that you would like to learn more about just to see from their perspective, is that something that you're interested in? But here's what I do know. If you choose to stay in the junk where your mind can't be free and your mind can't have visions and dreams about future amazing goals that you can accomplish, it will never get done. You have to get out of the junk. Get out of that junky situation, get that junk out of your brain, out of your mind, get your mind right. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed this Wealth Hack Wednesday. This is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and all you can make it awesome. Until next time, peace.